Hello and welcome back to Storytime with Melody. We're going to be reading part two of this beautiful story called Rumpelstiltskin. Well, let's not wait and let's keep going. The girl began to cry. How could she turn straw into gold? It was impossible. Nights passed, and the girl's fingers were sore with trying to spin straw, but not a single ounce of gold had appeared. She put her head in her hands. It was hopeless. Ahem, maybe I can help, young lady. The girl looked up, and standing in front of her was a dwarf. I don't think anyone can help me," said the girl. "Why ever not?" asked the dwarf. I must spin this straw into gold," said the girl. "Well," said the dwarf, "maybe I can help. You rest for a while, and when you wake up, your troubles will be over." The girl couldn't see how he could possibly help, but did as she was told. While she slept, the dwarf whistled and worked. Just after dawn, he woke her up. The job's done. He said happily, "What will you give me?" "All I have is my necklace," said the girl, looking with astonishment at the piles of gold that lay where the straw had stood. "Thank you," said the dwarf. "Good bye," and he disappeared as quickly as he had arrived, before she even had a chance to thank him. A few minutes later, the king himself arrived to open the door. "This is quite fantastic," he said when he saw the piles of gold. "I didn't think it was impossible." You really do have a very remarkable gift. Still, to be on the safe side, we shall have another test tonight. The king spent the whole day with the girl and thought she was very beautiful. The miller had not lied about that. When evening fell, the king led the girl to another room, about twice the size of the first, full from floor to ceiling, with straw. The girl went in and he locked the door. She knew she couldn't do anything, so she waited until early morning, when the dwarf appeared again. "Shall I do the same thing?" he asked. "It's such fun." "Yes," said the girl. "I have to turn all this into gold." "Well, you go and have a rest," said the dwarf, "and I shall do the work." "Thank you," said the girl. He woke her up when the gold was stacked in piles around the spinning wheel. This time, she paid with a gold ring. Minute moments later, the king arrived. This is truly fantastic! He exclaimed. He led the girl out of the room and again spent the whole day with her. He was quickly falling in love with her. That evening, the king led her to a huge room. If you can do this one last time, then tomorrow you shall be free. Again, the girl sat and waited. The dwarf appeared shortly before dawn. Again, he told her to rest while he completed the task. He woke her up when he finished. "How do you wish to pay me today?" he asked. "I have nothing left," said the girl. "Nothing!" cried the dwarf. "Do you mean you're not going to pay me for the work I've done for you?" He was furious. "Well, that's it for today. See you next time. Stay tuned. Bye."